I, Mrs. Rutuja Gadgir, Assistant Professor from Department of Electrical Engineering, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, today will be discussing a numerical on least square approximation to fit a second degree polynomial to the given data points. Let's solve a numerical on uh, least square approximation and we are going to fit a uh, second degree polynomial for the given data points. So you have the data points as x is equal to minus 2, 1, 0, 1 and 2. Y values is 15, 1, 1, 3 and 19. So as we will write the values of x minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Values of y as 15, 1, 1, 3 and 19. Right? Now to fit a polynomial of second degree, you have to solve three uh, normal equations and your equation of the line comes out to be y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square. And what are the equations you have to solve? You have to solve summation of yi is equal to na plus b into summation of xi plus c into summation of xi square. Then you have summation of xi yi is equal to a into summation of xi plus b into xi square plus c into xi cube. Next you have xi square yi is equal to a into summation of xi square plus b into xi cube plus c into xi raised to 4. Right? Now we have the values as x and we have y. To solve the normal equations, you require xy, x square y, x square, x cube and x raised to 4, right? So, let's start. So, you will write x square, x cube, x raised to 4, then xy and x square y, right? So, x square minus 2 square is 4, minus 1 square is 1, 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. Right? x cube minus 2 cube is minus 8, minus 1 square cube is minus 1, 0 cube is 1, 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8. x raised to 4 is 16, 1, 0, 1, 16. x y minus 30, minus 1, 0, 1 and Sorry, 1 into 3 is 3, sorry, 1 into 3 is 3 and 2 into 19 is 38, right. Then you have x square y, x square y, so 15 into 4 is 60, 1 into 1 is 1, 0 into 1 is 0, 3 into 1 is 3 and 19 into 4 is 76. Then you have to take summation of xi. So summation of xi is minus 2 plus minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 and plus 3 will become 0. Summation of y will be equal to 15 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 19 which comes out to be equal to 39. Right? Summation of x square comes out to be 4 plus 4 is 8, 9 and 10. Summation of x cube minus 8 plus 8 cancel, minus 1 plus 1 cancel. So, summation of x cube is 0. x raised to 4, 16 plus 1 plus 16, uh, plus 1 plus 16. So, 16 plus 16 is 32, 32 plus 2 is 34. Summation of, sorry, summation of x raised to 4. Then, summation of xy. Summation of xy comes out to be equal to 10. Summation of xy is 10 and summation of x square y comes out to be equal to 140. Right? Now you have to substitute in the normal equations. So summation of yi is 39. Right? Na, as I told you, n stands for what? N stands for number of data points. Number of data points. So in our case, number of data points are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, in our case, n is equal to 5. So, your first equation is 39 is equal to 5a plus 
b into summation of xi so b into summation of xi will be equal to 0b plus c into summation of xi square xi square is 10 so we will get 10c right then your next equation is summation of xi yi summation of xi yi is 10 is equal to a into summation of xi a into summation of xi means it's going to be 0a plus b into xi square xi square is what 10 so 10b plus c into xi cube xi cube is again 0 so 0c so from here directly you will get b is equal to 1 because 10 is equal to 0 plus 10b 10 is equal to 0 plus 10b plus 0 Therefore, B will be equal to 1. So, getting B is equal to 1. Right? And next is summation of Xi square Yi is equal to what? 140. 140 is equal to A into summation of Xi square. So, Xi square is 10 now. So, 10A plus B into Xi cube. B into Xi cube is what? B into 0 plus C into Xi raised to 4 xi raised to 4 in our case is 34 so you will get 34 c right so already you have got b is equal to 1 you have got b is equal to 1 so you now only have two equations to be solved and two unknowns right you have two equations to be solved and two unknowns so you can directly write 39 is equal to 39 is equal to 5a plus 10 c and you have 140 is equal to 10a plus 34c right now these equations you could solve it on calculator putting your calci in equation mode right you could solve it by Cramer's rule you could solve it by elimination any of these methods are applicable and when you solve these two equations simultaneously you will get a is equal to minus 1.0571 and c is equal to 4.42875 right we are fitting a polynomial of second degree so y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square therefore y will be equal to minus 1.0571 plus we already we have got 1 so x plus 4.42875 x square so this is your second degree polynomial for given data points by least square approximations thank you